Hello and welcome back to Cutleaf. So you've probably just come from my previous video uh, and if you are here then thanks for sticking with me. I'm going to show you how to create your calendar on Color Calendar's website. If you haven't already seen the previous video then I advise you head over to that one because I talk about the four things that you need to get started to start selling calendars. This video is all about how to set up your calendar and I'm going to take you through that process by using the website um, and yeah so some of the stuff that they sent me are notebooks they sent me some diaries so they've got a l whole range of products that you can choose from to buy they also sent me a lot of prints as well um, which are fantastic quality really good build the colors the paper quality uh, everything about them was exceptional and also they sent me some of their banners as well just there so again they're really good quality uh, but I speak about all that in the previous video. But in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to create these, which are my A4 calendars that I've been selling since August, mid-August at the moment um, in preparation for next year. So this is just called Brixham Calendar 2022. I'll just quickly show you a couple of the pages. So here we have January. Again, all my pictures are taken in portrait mostly, so you can see it's got that portrait format. It's got a little bit of writing space here with the dates, and um, you've got some like circling areas that you can do down here for the uh, months ahead. So there's that one. Picture quality is amazing. Paper quality is really good. Uh, I'll show you one more picture. I should show you February. There you go. Okay, so let's start creating your calendar. By now, you should have a theme, you should have an idea of what photos you want to use, and you should also have an idea of your target audience. Okay, so if we just go ahead, open up colorcalendars.com, and it should bring you to this page. Make sure you've got the right company. So you wanna create an account first, I've already done that, so literally just go ahead, create an account. Go ahead, click start creating, slash get quote. Okay, so the next page, start your calendar order and choose your service. So we want to design our calendar online. We don't want to use their design service. Uh, so we just want to go ahead, click the one furthest to the left. Okay, so the next page is going to bring you to the template. So as previously mentioned, I shoot in portrait. So I want to choose a portrait that has the portrait layout for my pictures. So I don't crop too much. Uh, but if you shoot landscape, you'll also have the landscape option. But they've got many templates that you'll see uh, as we're about to scroll through. So there we go. So also we can do A3 or A4. I stuck to A4 because it's easier for shipping and it doesn't cost as much. And also I think A3 is just a bit much for a calendar, like too big. A4 is just nice to hang and have something to write on. You don't want something that's too in your face or taking up too much room on the wall. So what I choose is, me personally, is the A4 wall calendar in the middle there and then you want to click view templates that will then open up the array of templates that they have so you can have personally I like a little bit of writing space people like to write on their calendars so you don't want anything like this one here um, that just has you know you can just circle your sort of uh, circle the month you want to have something that people can write on or have notes like this one over here so they're good landscape ones let's just keep scrolling nice again pick a template that suits you this is obviously the one that i went for this is more of a square format for your images okay so just click create a design and then that will take you to this page here so scroll down and find your template number so we want template six which is this one just here so i'm going to go ahead click start my design and that will take you to their uh, design page so the first page that will open up is the control panel. This will give you everything that you need to create your calendar. So to the left, we have all of the uh, like commands that you can use to cut, paste, undo, redo, etc. Um, so just go ahead, read through that one, click got it, and let's start creating. So very important, make sure you get the right start date. So we don't want 2023, we want 2022. We want to start with January and we want to click update just there. The first thing, if you look down the bottom strip here, you'll see cover, January, February, March. These are each page of your calendar. So we want to start with the cover. First thing I like to do, 
just grab an image, click images up the top left, click import images. So what you wanna do up the top right is click here to upload your image. And then you wanna click, click here. For me, I've got all of my images here. So I'll go ahead, I'll click on Fishcombe Cove Sunset, something like that. So that's my opening image. Go ahead, tick that one and then put import. That will then bring it down to the bottom left there, as you can see. Then you want to drag and drop. Okay, so once the image is in, it, as you can see, it's cut off a little bit so you can put a title. But I like to have the image covering the full page. That's just personal preference. So what you can do is just over the uh, right here of the image, you can select there and just drag. And that will just enlarge the image. And then you can bring it over to center it a bit more as well. So then it's nice and centered. Then what I want to do is find the calendar title because that's behind the image. I just want to bring that text up, click move up and I'll bring the text up uh, just there. And then we want to call this test calendar. You can change everything about the text, just highlight it. You can change the font. So let's go for something like that. Let's change that to white. Let's bring the text a little bit larger something like that so once you're happy with your front page go ahead and click January once you've got your first page sort of done it's sort of like a copy and paste process so I'm just going to take you through how to set up your first page and then how to copy and paste those settings so just go ahead and let's change all this so with the text down the bottom here, I want to change the text to black, uh, just there. And then I want to change this strip, just click on that one and change it to white, just so it all blends. I don't like the little cut off color down the bottom. So here, I don't really need the address, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the delete button there. And the replace your image, just want to get rid of that one, go ahead and click delete. So then we're left with our details down the bottom and then we've got this bit here. Now with this you can add events into the calendar so which is a really nice touch because it's just putting certain things in on the actual calendar that people don't have to write in themselves. So for instance in December on the 25th it's Christmas day so you can click Sunday event add just write Christmas day and click save. That will then automatically add that in for when it's printed. Now, if you wanna know what events are coming up in the year, just type in 2022 events, uh, 2022 calendar events. There we go, holidays and observances in United Kingdom. That will then give you everything happening on all the dates, just Pick out the key uh, ones that you want to add and then just add it in. Simple as that. So if you've got a logo, it'd be nice to add the logo down the bottom left part here. So I'm just going to go ahead and import images. Then let's drag and drop. And then let's just enlarge it. The actual process of creating a calendar is really straightforward. Color Calendar have done a great job on their design build on the website. So they make it straightforward for any beginner. If you need help, you can get in touch with them and ask for a bit of assistance, but usually you should be able to do it by yourself. So I'm happy with how this looks. Now we wanna add our image. So let's import an image again. Let's upload. You can upload all the images at once if they're in a certain folder, so, so you don't have to keep going back to this process. Okay, so Barrow Island's loaded. Again, hit tick and then put import. And then let's drag and drop into there. That will then just do everything for you. So you can position where you want the image because you will lose a bit, probably. Um, so for me, I'd like to center the sort of ruin in the middle, just there. So I really like how that looks. So that's the first page of the month done. It took no more than two minutes and it's very straightforward. Okay, so now you wanna repeat the process for each page, but to make it easier, what you can do, now you've done the uh, box standard things on January, go ahead, click your logo, hit Control C, go into February. Now I just wanna 
delete the replace your image bit, delete that. And then I'm gonna go ahead, click Control V, and then that will just paste that logo the exact same size, width, dimension, everything um, into that area. So you wanna do that for each section. So go ahead, it just takes, you know, around about 15 to 20 minutes in total to create the calendar, and that's it. There we go. Same with down here, Control C, and then you wanna just delete that little box because that'll just make it white anyway to make things easier. And we just wanna delete that, and then Control and V. So again, straightforward, just copy and paste everything in and just change the uh, image of the month. It's as simple as that. You wanna put quick save, and then you wanna hit save to portfolio. So I wanna call this test calendar, and then you save it to your portfolio. It'll then save the design, and that's it, it's as simple as that. You've saved it to your portfolio, it will land here in your portfolio section, and your calendar is now saved. Okay, so now you've created your calendar, what next? Now you wanna market, you wanna get out there to the world, and you wanna start, of course, making some money. So I'm just gonna briefly brush over what I do to help you guys drive more sales with your calendars. So the first one would be Facebook. What you wanna do with Facebook is make sure you have your Facebook page. Make sure you're in Facebook groups as well with your target audience. There's definitely gotta be some groups out there. Don't pay for paid advertisement yet unless you absolutely have to. So with Facebook, the first thing I do is announce the calendar. The big, you know, now releasing my 2022 Brixham from above calendar available for pre-order. So don't purchase the calendar straight away. Put them as pre-order to get an idea of the sort of sales that you have coming through. So you have a rough idea of how many you should buy. So you're not overbuying that you'll end up left with you know, 100 calendars for 2022 that no one wants to buy. So another way to market your calendars is to have pictures of your calendar even if you haven't got it as a physical product. People seeing the image of the calendar helps drive sales because they're visually seeing what it looks like. So one way you can do this, if I just show you. Once you're on your portfolio, go ahead and click the uh, little search bar there, the little view bar and then that will pop up with this screen. So what you wanna go ahead and do then is just go ahead and screenshot each one of these images all the way through. Obviously you'll have images here, I haven't. So for each month you wanna hit screenshot. Once you've done that, it's just come to the homepage and let's open it up. And then just simply, you can do this in Photoshop or here, just go ahead, drag around go ahead and click crop. Then that will give people the idea of what the calendar page inside will look like. This is what I did with my uh, images. So I just had a nice sort of backdrop on a wood panel. And then as you scroll through, I had this uh, for each two months. It just looks nice. If you wanna find some nice calendars uh, already that you can put your picture over the top of, just type in calendar on Etsy. You'll get loads of stuff like this pop up where you can just sort of save a picture and put your picture over the top. A little bit cheeky, but you know, it's helpful. So another thing you can do is like a first time discount. So one thing I did when I released my Brixham calendar was the first 10 orders get 15% off. That day I think I've got 23 orders and I left the 15% off. I'm sacrificing a little bit of money to drive more sales that day. Sometimes you just have to think of little creative ways to get people to buy your product. What's the competition doing? What are other people doing? What are companies doing? You know, you have to do your research. You have to find out how to drive those sales uh, for your product. But that's really it for this video. I've shown you how to set up your calendar, how to create it, and also a little bit of advice on how to market and make those sales. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'll leave my email below and I'll be with you as soon as I can. But yeah, as always, I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. Get creative, create your calendars, post them out there, make some sales this Christmas and treat your loved one or yourself to a lovely gift. But until then, I'll see you next time for another video. See you then.